Hey, many fast it's the 8th of September, 2019, and I pray you all are blessed. I am just not having a great time getting on here to share these things with you. I would ask if you could throw in a little prayer for many fish because it it's getting really difficult to look at, and I know you all understand that. It's just hard to watch the world fall for this giant snare. Just being sucked into the pit through the lies and deception of this antichrist spirit that's just running rampant. You know, I saw this about the Libra in the currency yesterday, and it just, it just shows so clearly that this beast financial system is ready to roll. And they're going to unleash this at some point in the very near future. You know what I mean? This is like the linchpin, the money will be the snare for the overwhelming majority of the world. I mean, they suck you into their their monetary system, and you're trapped. You know, you need to put your trust and your faith in the Lord to, to provide for you and to give you discernment in how to navigate this stuff. Because it's here. It is here. The Libra. China's gonna basically mimic their digital currency after the Libra which is Facebook, right? Worldwide. But China's setting it up in a way that they'll be able to control their own local systems as well as tie into the global system, which will be run through all the D-Wave computers and the IBM Q computers. You know, it's all being set up. It's all ready to go. It's just a matter of a financial calamity or a war or something to get it to be put in place. And once it is, that that trap is shut okay so you need to understand this the Libra very interesting how this all pans out how their symbol actually represents the waters you know what I mean or the double U the Libra the waters the waters the waters that's what that represents from ancient times that is the representation of water 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 that's what they're showing you here the same thing as the waters above and the waters below. You could even look at this as a 23, 46, 69. The 23 above, separate, born again in Christ. The 46, mankind, on the surface. And the 69, below, wanting and waiting to turn all the 46, the unsuspecting, those not in Christ, into a 69. Once you take this mark of the beast, that's quite literally what it'll do. You can look at it like DNA. It will be the everlasting DNA chain of darkness. That's what this is representing. And I used some gematria in this. And the gematria is interesting because they're all God's numbers. It's just that Satan is the master of twisting those numbers. You understand? He is a master math magician. That's what he does to deceive the world. If you're not in the spirit of the living God, you will be deceived. But God shows us just how he shows us his gematria, particularly the six-count English gematria, because it's simple. It's very simple if you look at it. It's all just corresponding numbers to letters in order, in succession. Very simple, very easy. And the English is that times six, the number of a man. Here is wisdom. Count the number of the beast, for it is a number of a man. Six. You understand? Even the concordance number, the 2342. 23. Again, separate in Christ, not of this world. 42 represents the Antichrist spirit. Okay? 23 separate. The 42, the world is under that spirit. Those who are not born again in Christ. The six times seven, which is a 13. You see what I'm saying? You multiply the two together, you get a 966, which is the Hebrew word for lightning. I saw Satan fall from heaven as lightning, right? The 796. You can see the patterns. The lightning from heaven, Lucifer, who was perfect in his ways when he was created. He was found with iniquity and basically cut down, demoted, if you will, from a perfect 777 
to the corrupted 666, the beast, right? And his quest is to get back to that perfection above the clouds. I will ascend. And he needs to obtain the tree of life in order to do that. The 111, which is represented in all their Kabbalah, the Freemasonry. They're all exactly the same, you guys. The crown is the 111. The 111. It's all the same, and it's all just permeated throughout the world. Man is under this influence, and the money is the linchpin. It's such a huge key to get people under the control. It's crazy. And why do you think they use Genesis 322 in their skull and bones? Because it talks about taking from the tree of life and living forever, which they do not have the right to. As it states in Revelation 22:14, only those with the right to the tree of life can enter the city, the last generation. This is how I see it, you guys. Even in the concordance, again, I showed you that 966 is lightning. Well, so is 216 in the Hebrew, the 6 times 6 times 6. And so is the 1300 in the Hebrew, the 13. Again, the 13, the 666. It's all spelled out right in front of us. And this financial situation is, again, the key to everything. Even the greatest of the greatest have fallen under this spell of Satan's money systems. Solomon. I mean, just the comparisons here between Solomon. 1 Kings 7, 1. Interesting numbers. It took Solomon 13 years to build his house. The house of the Lord took him seven. But it took him 13 to build his and you got to read about Solomon because it's very, very telling. You know what I mean? And Trump has his house, a 58-story tower. Okay? A tower is what Trump built for his house. And it adds up to 13. It happens to be 664 feet tall, if you believe that. Right? Just like Solomon's 666 talents of gold he received yearly. 664. Seriously. There are 238 units in Trump's tower. 13, right? 2, 3, and 8. It was officially opened on 11-30-83. The 13. For the love of money is the root of all evil. And so many fall for this trap. And that word, that to love of money, comes from the Greek word 5366. Avarice. Which means excessive or insatiable desire for wealth or gain. Again, Satan's biggest weapon, right? And you'll find that the six, six talents of gold spoken about with Solomon in 2 Chronicles 9, 13, which is a 22. And this is interesting. The Greek 5, 3, 6, 6, and the Hebrew 3, 5, 6, 6, look at this. It's Cyrus, just like they compare Trump to on the coin. It's amazing stuff to me, you guys, but, but there it is. And I gotta share this with you. This came to me yesterday. We got coming up next Friday, which is Friday the 13th. Okay, we got a full harvest moon, which will be on Friday, but technically it's just after midnight on Saturday. But nonetheless, 913 will be the day that the Freedom Tower turns 1776 days old. Remember the Freedom Tower where Obama signed the beam in the top of the tower? We rebuild. We come back stronger. The two towers became the one. The 888888 became the 1776. Spiritual warfare. That's what you're looking at. You're literally looking at spiritual warfare manifest. And it spells right out in the gematria. It just does. God's perfect numbers that Satan twists and completely turns upside down. You know what I mean? And in the Dow Jones, listen to this. As of Friday, this past Friday, 9-6, the Dow Jones Industrials closed at 26,797.46. You can't make this stuff up. The 26 is the name of God. Yode Vave, right? The 797 literally add up to 23. The 46 is self-explanatory, and they added 69 points to the total on Friday, 9 6. 23, 46, 69. God. Think about it. 
And the point 31 is just their number of rebellion reversed. It's all right here, you guys. And China making their currency like the Libra announced on 9-6. The sign, the symbol for the Libra. You can't get over this stuff. They use the symbol of water. So they have the water, the water, the water, the W, 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 the 23 above, separate in Christ, the 46 on the surface, not knowing what they are, and the 69 below, influencing the 46 in order to get them to turn into 69s and be sucked into the pit. I mean, that's how I see it, you guys. In the Libra, the sign for Libra, you know, the uh, the scales. I mean, think about this. The scales, the balances. Revelation 6, 5 and 6, the black horse. He holds the balances in his hand. An economic collapse is coming, one way or another, through war, through excessive debt, which will be saddled on to the average Joe worker bee, and the big, big guys will get debt forgiveness like Trump and Zuckerberg and all these people. It's just the way it's going to work, you guys. It's a horrible, diabolical system. But this is it. The Libra. The WWW. That's what it is. Get this. This is absolutely crazy. Facebook Libra, right? If you take the word Libra and turn it around, you get our bill. And you cannot make this stuff up in a gajillion years, you guys. Our bill is an actual place also known as Erbil. And I'll link this stuff, and it leads you directly to Babylon, and Nineveh, and Nimrod. All about Nimrod, Nimrod, Nimrod everywhere. That's what this Arbil was, a place in Babylon under Nimrod. If you can believe that stuff, man. This is the setup for the beast system, the Facebook Libra, and the China Libra, Facebook Libra into the Gematria, right? It's amazing, you guys. The 239 is what you get in the Jewish for Facebook Libra. Well, look in the Hebrew concordance at word 239. It literally means scales. Literally, in the balance, the balances, the black horse. Libra in the, in the English, the six count, just the word Libra is 252, which is 42 times 6, the number of the Antichrist, which matches perfectly with Iran and war. I'm just telling you guys, this is what I see. The, the WWW, the waters, the waters, the waters. The Vav, which is the W letter, to make the W in the Hebrew, which is a value of 6. Vav, 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 666. Six, six. I don't know what this 22 is there for. Get rid of that. So, you know, which adds up to 18 and reduces to 9. These these make a difference here in a minute. The W in the English is the 23rd letter. The WWW. 69, which is 6 plus 9, 15, reduces to a 6, right? And in the Greek, the omega is the W sign, the last letter as in the Alpha Omega, the 24th letter, which adds up to a 72 and reduces also to a 9. The 24 can be looked at as a 6, a 6, a 6. Just like the 23 can be a 5, a 5, and a 5. But the reduction is 9, 6, and 9. And in the Hebrew, the 969 9 is Tower. Just like Trump Tower. Like Freedom Tower. And it's only used one time in Jeremiah 6, 27. Please read Jeremiah 6. Read it all because it is talking about some pretty grim things coming to pass. Okay, so Jeremiah 6, 27 happens to be the same date as that they're holding this Sanhedrin 70 nations. Elul 27 is when it ends and they perform a sacrifice on the Mount of Olives. Now, they're holding this conference to renew the Noahide covenant. And that's according to the Talmud, of course. But, I mean, this is really crazy stuff, you guys. To renew Noah's covenant. And it also includes an economic, okay? 
It's incumbent upon all of mankind. The universal economic, cultural, and educational system that they're bringing in. They spell it all out right here. It's all here. It's amazing stuff, you guys. You know what I'm saying? Really. I will now establish my covenant. That's what they're doing. And they're doing a sacrifice, you guys, on the Mount of Olives. The Mount of Olives is a holy place, man. That is where Christ ascended from. That is a holy place. And they're doing this abomination in that holy place. On 927, as they make the covenant, 927 in Daniel, the covenant with many for one week. And the sacrifice and oblation will be cut off in the middle of the week. It's all spelled out right here. And I pray you understand and it makes sense. I really do. I put Lucifer Libra into the Gematria. You know, I was looking at Lucifer and Jesus. I put Lucifer Libra into the Gematria. And it is literally 696. And in the Hebrew concordance, that word means to lie in wait. <laughs> Jeremiah 9. And it's a perfect match for Zuckerberg, as in Mark of the Beast Zuckerberg and Rothschild. Perfect match. So, I mean, all these things fit together. It's here. It's just a matter of time till this trap is triggered. And you need to be in Christ. That's the number one thing. Allow the Spirit of the Living God to guide your steps. Trust in Him to provide for you and your family through this crazy time. And pray that the lost come to Christ when these things come to pass. That their eyes will be open and they can be saved and brought out of this absolute darkness. But that's what I wanted to share with you today. There's a ton, ton, ton more in regards to 9-11 that I want to share with you too. And I pray I can get to it. And I pray for all of you. Keep looking up, folks. Redemption is near. Praise God. Peace and grace to y'all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 